Hi everybody, it's Tom Crow from the Savvy Event Planner Podcast, and I'd like to share with you one of the tools that I've found to make online scheduling so much easier. It saved me so much time, I want to give you a behind-the-scenes look at the Acuity Scheduler. Here we are on the Acuity Scheduling webpage. You'll notice that under pricing, they have several different options. They have a freebie, they have an emerging entrepreneur, a growing business, and a powerhouse player. I signed up for the $10 a month because I can add a location where I can post my schedule on my website and it has a number of advanced features. As we go down, the client can self-schedule, automatic email reminders, which I absolutely love. It not only notifies the client, but it also notifies me. We also have the automatic time zone conversion, which is extremely helpful if you're working across time zones, and you can advertise unlimited services and appointments. You can display your own logo, customize with your company colors. There's a lot of things that I'm not even using yet, but I just want to show you what I do with it. I'm going to log into the site, and you'll notice that here we are on my schedule. Right now, I don't have anything available. I'm going to come up to month and click on that. I'm going to come over into February. You'll notice I have a couple of appointments here, but I'm going to go over and click on availability. I'm going to come into February where I'm going to set my hours, and I'll come down to the 15th, and I don't have my calendar right in front of me, but I'm just going to set up some hours. I'm going to set up from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m., put a comma, and then I'm going to do appointments from 2 to 4, or 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. Click on return, and you'll notice that it automatically sets. So that's as easy as it gets to set up your schedule. Just click on the dates, add your hours. Now we can come over to the appointment types. You'll notice here I have set up two easy appointments, a pre-interview call, which would last up to 30 minutes, and the podcast interview, which lasts up to an hour. If I wanted to add a new service, I'd simply click on new service. I'd be able to type in the name, the duration of the service. If there's a charge for that, I can select a category from the appointment types or set one and then access public or private. That would be the clients can book on the scheduling page. And then click Create Appointment Type. You can also create an intake form for your scheduling page. An intake form allows you to gather information from your client so that you can set up and better facilitate the appointment. For example, on the podcast, if possible, I try to use Skype so that we have a better sound. And so I have a form that requests the Skype username. There's an example form right here. Let's go in, click on Edit, and take a look. And you can see you can add a single line of text, multi lines of text, drop down list, check boxes, all different types of things. You can add the name, the description, and other information. Now let's head over to our email settings where we can set up our reminders, our rescheduling or cancellation emails, everything that you need to do to confirm with your client. These can all be customized based on the different templates available. Now let's come up to the client scheduling page. Here you have a link to your Acuity scheduling page that you can share with clients if you'd like them to schedule on the site or you can copy and paste this embed code into your own website so that people can schedule there. That's what I prefer to do. Now let's head over to my website and I'll show you what it looks like. Here we are on the Savvy Event Planner podcast scheduling page and you'll notice that first the client gets to choose what type of appointment they want to make. I'm going to click on the pre-interview call. You'll notice that the schedule comes up. The dates are dark when I'm accepting interviews. They can come down and click on a time and then click continue. All they have to do is fill out the form and complete the appointment. It's that easy. At that point, they'll receive a confirmation email. I receive a confirmation email telling me that the appointment is set and it also goes on to my schedule. It's very easy to use. I highly recommend it. I've been using it for a while now. If you're interested in anything else about the Acuity Scheduler, please feel free to question me. I'll be happy to help you out any way I can.